Now for some women who've got really severe flushing and sweating, some of these low key options that we've already talked about may not be effective enough. And that's where you need to talk to your family doctor about prescription options. There are quite a few different medicines that are helpful in this area, but perhaps one of the most popular options is to look at a range of medicines that we call SSRI or SNRI antidepressants. These have been used for several decades and we know that they are effective in around 70% of women who have bad flushes and sweats. Some of the well-researched options include paroxetine, escitalopram or venlafaxine. But there is just one warning that if you have had breast cancer and you're taking tamoxifen, you need to be careful about the choice you make here because there is an interaction between tamoxifen and paroxetine or fluoxetine and they can make the uh, tamoxifen less effective. So talk to your family doctor and they will guide you through the best decision. Another option we've got is a medicine called gabapentin or pregabalin. This has been around for several decades and it initially was used to treat epilepsy and nerve pain. Somewhat quirkily they found by chance that it also was really helpful in dealing with flushes and sweats and it works in around 70% of women. It is something that you do need to introduce quite slowly, start in low dose and take it up gradually, but it can be very safe and well tolerated. Another potential option we may have in the very near future is a medicine called cetrazine. This is a widely available antihistamine and some early research suggests it might be useful. If we go back in time, there's a very old medication called clonidine or Dixerit. This has been used for 40 or 50 years to treat hypertension or high blood pressure. It comes in both tablets and patches and research suggests it might be useful with very mild symptoms. A really exciting development over the last decade has been a nerve block procedure called stellate ganglion blockade. The stellate ganglion is a bundle of nerves at the base of the neck and it's connected to part of the nervous system that controls our temperature balance. They've discovered that if they inject a small amount of local anaesthetic into that nerve, it can reduce the number and the severity of flushes that women are experiencing. It may take a week for an effect to be seen and it can take up to two months for the maximal effect to be seen, but then the procedure can be repeated as required. It is a specialised technique and it's not available in every town or city, so do talk to your family doctor, your gynaecologist or endocrinologist and they'll be able to give you advice about whether it's the right thing for you. So as you can see, we've got a range of great options to deal with some of these menopausal symptoms, particularly the hot flushes, the sweats, the mood disturbance or changes in sleep. Unfortunately, many of these options don't address the muscle and joint aches that women may experience. So this is a great opportunity for you to sit down with your family practitioner or your specialist and talk to them about the best options for you.